Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. <laughs> I was just telling Cherie, I don't know, that listen, an alligator to me, a caiman and an alligator, they are very, very similar, at least in terms of appearance out there. I tell you what, more rain on the way overnight tonight across the area. Nothing severe, but more downpours with a few rumbles of thunder out there. Here's a live look at the radar. Not much happening around the 275 loop, but as you head over into parts of southeast Indiana, downpours are already beginning to move in, and you're probably seeing some flashes of lightning if you look off towards the north and west over in the direction of Indiana, but locally heavy downpours from Mount Carmel to Oldenburg down towards Batesville and Napoleon, and then they're a little more spotty north and east of Cincinnati. There's one to the east of Wilmington there near New Vienna, and it looks like maybe one just to the west around Westchester. So here's a live look outside from Carew Tower. It is still muggy tonight. Most of us hovering between 70 and 75. Temperatures will not fall much overnight tonight. Generally into the upper 60s for lows, right around 70 for most of us. And then tomorrow, expect some steamy sun to help push highs into the mid 80s. After tomorrow, we're going to get a change in the humidity, at least briefly. It's 74 right now at the airport. Look at the dew point and humidity. So any downpours overnight tonight are going to be efficient rainmakers. Around the metro, temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Kenwood 73, Hyde Park 73, same story in Dell High. So temperatures pretty uniform across the entire area. Here's the weather pattern. Hot high pressure that's been in charge since the weekend is gradually breaking down. That's going to allow a cool front that's out across the upper Midwest tonight to eventually arrive here tomorrow night and end the chance for showers and storms. So here's a look at future cast. You can see around or after midnight, these downpours will come through. That rain should begin to fade in time for your morning commute. It may still be a little damp, but then tomorrow some steamy sun pops out and we'll get a few pop up storms. I don't expect the coverage tomorrow to be as great as it has been the past couple of days because of the fact we'll probably have some clouds tomorrow morning and may help keep us a little more stable. So downpours, a few loud claps of thunder overnight tonight, 69 for the overnight low. Again, not severe, 86 for a high tomorrow after some morning rain, some steamy sun, and then a few more pop ups late in the day. Here's your day planner, 70 at 8 a.m. as we start to dry out up to 80 by lunchtime and mid 80s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. I've got some improvements for dads on Saturday. At least it is looking a lot drier. I think we're only facing a few pop up storms on Saturday. A lot of us won't see anything, but Saturday night into Sunday, Sharif, for Father's Day itself is looking quite wet. All right, I think all the fathers will like that forecast pretty much. Anyway, Kevin, thanks so much. Coming up in